Satan is grooming teenagers for his army. How is he doing that? How do you expect me to believe your God has power if you don't believe it? Satan knows children has, has great, great power. He doesn't want them to use it. We have the New End Times DVD, eight hours of, of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, End Times Miracles, Bible Prophecy. And the alien demon connection with L.A. Marzulli. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999 the word chosen to 91999 and get the end times investigation DVD. Man, we're talking about teenagers. Do you have a teenager? Do you know a teenager? David, what about teenagers? That's my question. What about the teenagers? All over America, all over the world, there's teens, teens that are being seduced. And yet, it seems that the pop culture, the, the modern day church, the, the soccer mom, the brain dead computer, go to work dad, doesn't, doesn't have a clue, doesn't see what's going on. Oh, well, hold it, I send my teen off to a great teen youth group. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Ah, they're probably getting it there too. And what's the point, David? What is my point? I will go for the jugular. Okay, I'm going for the jugular. Why? Because Satan goes for the jugular. We, as God's children, go for the jugular. We take them out. Here's the deal. Satan is grooming children, is grooming teenagers, is grooming them for his army. How is he doing that? He's doing it through satanic ritual abuse. How is he doing it? This is what we're going to talking about. Talk about what is the agenda? What are some of the various agendas? And what is the ultimate agenda? And what can you and I do about it? Once we have all this information, we're going to land the plane and we're going to find out, ask God, the Holy Spirit, how he can use us, this vapor, this piece of clay, this tent for something good, right? And that's that's my point. All right. I'm going to bring on my guest, Greg Reed. Greg, you there with me, buddy? Right here. Man, I get passionate on this. You know, I when I start out, I start out calm and I say, God, I'm just going to talk this out. And all of a sudden I start thinking about this stuff. And it's not just what they're doing to the kids. It's the fact that where is the church in all this? Where are the preachers? Where are the parents? What? Why aren't they talking about telling the truth on the news about this, right? Uh, Greg, help me out here. What, do I need a therapist? Do I need to go take some medication? Or, I mean, is, you know, what do you think? Uh, I can just give you a good, good shot of wake-up call, and it's just this. And, and we had a girl who was coming out of the occult, or not coming out of the occult. She was very firmly a Satanist. And she came to us, and she told one of our youth, she says, how do you expect me to believe your God has power? If you don't believe it, and I put my finger on a real problem, and I watched as a youth pastor, I was a youth pastor a number of years just recently, and I, I had a revelation because I'm watching these kids, and they're all good kids, and I love them dearly, wherever they are, church kids, but I saw a lot of them, they were gravitating towards, first it was Harry Potter, and then I lost that battle with parents, and then it was all of a sudden they're reading vampire romances and werewolf romances. And I just had this revelation that Satan doesn't care if they go out and become Satanists. He just wants them to be absolutely useless in reaching this generation. And I tell youth pastors all the time, look, unless you get beyond the template of having Xboxes and a few games and some food and a little two-minute Jesus snack, thinking you're preparing your kids for the war out there, you're not going to prepare them for anything. They'll get slaughtered the minute they get to to college spiritually no absolutely i hear what you're saying greg you know here's the thing um you have all these youth groups all over now weren't you were in the youth ministry for a while right i i think yeah most of my life yeah most of your life okay you'd be a perfect one you have all these youth programs ministries and god love them you know i go there and and they don't do, you know their heart is not evil they're not trying to do anything evil that not most of them anyway but they think what they're doing is somehow connecting children to god in a way that is going to be 
everlasting and, and not even understanding that Satan can break that connection just like that. Uh, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong, but before we can deal with this problem, it has to be spoken about. It's got to be addressed in the church. It has to be addressed in the pulpit, has to be addressed in the youth group. What you and I are talking about, maybe keep it PG, but the subject's got to be there. What say you? I, I agree. And I got to say, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of kudos to the last church that I was serving in because the pastor was a very brave man that allowed me to teach for 12 months every Sunday on spiritual warfare and deliverance. And, you know, that rarely happens, but it helped prepare people. And I let people know that youth, we're going to raise them up. We're going to teach them the truth about spiritual warfare, not, you know, get them obsessed with any of that, but just the basic tools to stand strong. And some of the reaction that I've always heard is, well, kids can't handle it. And I want to say, do you know what they're faced with in schools? You have no idea what they have to handle without tools. So right. I think we better prepare them to be able to handle it. And we can do that, like you say, PG. We don't have to have like some of these groups have people running around and, you know, spitting up and, you know, rolling on the floor. I don't believe in any of that stuff, but no. I think we can equip the right thing because even a child if he understands their authority or she understands their authority in the name of jesus can send ten thousand demons flee uh, absolutely absolutely you know i read earlier in scripture uh, i read matthew 21 15 through 16 that the babes that the children were saying hosanna son of david uh they were shouting in the temple uh and the religious leaders didn't like it they were indignant but uh, from the lips of children, infants, uh, you, Lord, have called forth your praise. Now, I be, now, this may be conjecture, but I believe it's true. I believe the power of praise coming from children is 10 times more potent than praise coming from an adult. Too, yeah. And therefore, I believe that children, now I know this is out there, and you all tell me what you think. I want to get some hand raising. If children understand demonic warfare, really understand it, I'm not talking about the Hollywood stuff, they have the power of God that's so vibrant and so potent in them. Greg, they could just flatten the demon in two seconds. Is, is that, do you agree with that? Yes, and I've, I've, I've seen that on occasion. I mean, I've had some good godly parents that raised their kids in the right way of the Lord. I had one set of parents, they sent their kid on a mission trip to Haiti. And they were a whole town they were in were terrified of the voodoo priest because he was he would kill people and you know poison whatever, and and so you know my uh, this young man was aware of that he kind of like my nephew and he was aware of that and he went down I think he was like sixteen years old, and here comes the voodoo priest coming down after the after the youth group, and he's doing this deal where he's just going bah, 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 and he's banging the fence with his little you know occult tools or whatever and my nephew just got filled with the holy spirit and he went up to the fence just right next to the guy and went bah, 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 bah. and and everybody started laughing and the guy just ran because he faced him with the power of god instead of fear and that's where we need to be and he was just a kid he was just a kid i say that's why you see that's why the devil has created the church system the way it is to send kids off to Sunday school to keep them dumped down. These stupid little stories about Noah, you know, the flood and David and Goliath. I don't mean that those are stupid, the, the accounts. I'm talking about those silly stories that they tell with the coloring books and all that kind of stuff. Because they know, Satan knows children has, has great, great power. He doesn't want them to use it. Uh, Greg, you mentioned earlier about Harry Potter. You mentioned about watching these things on television, watching things online, video games. I want to bring up one other thing. There are mass amounts of people that are watching these crime reality show dramas. Do you know what I'm talking about? On uh, yes. I think it's HLN and and uh, you know uh, uh, Discovery investigates. And it's I mean I'm watching this stuff, Greg. It's the darkest stuff in the world. I'm going, my goodness. There's people watching this 24-7. They're eating this stuff up. Isn't this, oh, and I told my wife this, I think this is a way that Satan gets into people by watching this stuff, even though it's true crime drama, it really affects a person's soul. What do you think? 
it, it does. And you can be, people can become addicted to dark things like that. And I, I love that, you know, the conference we, we met at just last month, our, our brother Tom Dunn saying, you got to, you know, disconnect from the red, you have to get out of red pill overdosing. In other words, reality, you can dose on reality and still not have it be a good thing because there's another reality, which is Jesus Christ and his lordship over everything. And we can't allow ourselves to be consumed by darkness. And when you're watching enough dark things, that attracts darkness and Christians need to especially be super careful what they watch. Absolutely. And I'm going to take some hand raising. Uh, you guys can go ahead and raise your hands up and I'll get with you as soon as I finish this segment here. I want you to go and sign up right now to davidhevener.tv. It's exclusive just to the members. You'll see, we have 10 channels. Okay. We have the prophecy channel, saving baby channel, the original uh, TV series channel, uh, the health and survival channel. We have a new channel called the Alien Demon <clears throat> Disclosure Abduction Channel, and it's got a lot of L.A. Marzulli's videos that I've done with him, but a lot of other videos by other people. You can see that channel right there. Uh, we've got a new show up called Underground Alien, uh, and it's the only place you're going to see these. You will not see them anywhere else. Please go and support the ministry by signing up. You can get two months free if you do it now. TV. 